All right, I want to do a quick rundown on uh, pouring a port mold. Um, I really couldn't find anything on the internet about the actual process of doing this. I've seen where people do it, but I, I really couldn't find anything. So I started looking for foam kits, like some kind of a closed cell foam. And I couldn't really find anything that I was comfortable with that I was going to be able to get out of the port. And uh, what I ended up settling on was a, my first try was a, a Let's Resin kit off of 15 bucks off of Amazon. And uh, <clears throat> I figured it wasn't much to lose if it didn't work out. But uh, So that's what I started with. And then I got a release agent also off Amazon. I think that was 11 bucks, And that, that is what I consider to be the bare bones basic of what you need to do this with. Um, I used up that whole kit, which was this one. And there is still some left, but which, while I'm thinking about it, they, they say to weigh it, and I think that's why you need to weigh it, because that was all I could get to run out of the bottle, and then I let it sit for a couple of days, and, and I mean, that much more ran down. So um, I would recommend weighing it, which I, I guess I could say, I guess you could just judge it if you don't have scales, but I already had these scales that we use from, I got these from Harbor Freight that we use for uh, divvying up food, and we shrink wrap it, freeze it, and... So I waited out and everything turned out good. It was supposed to take 12 hours to cure. I pulled the molds, every one of them so far, in about eight hours and had no problems with them ripping. And uh, so everything's gone good as far as that goes. But I, I think overnight is what they really recommend. Uh, this kit was a little bit cheaper. The Shijabizkuk kit off of uh, Amazon also. I caught it on sale and the stuff looks exactly the same so we're going to find out if one's better than the other but if you're going to do a lot of these uh if you buy by the gallon it's about half the cost of buying it in these kits but that was about twenty dollars and that's a significantly bigger um, bottle of the resin than than what i had originally so like i said the first time i tried it i didn't know if it was going to work so i didn't want to get a bunch of money invested in this but also this time i have dyes the uh I bought a dye kit for like $10 because this stuff does not, now that it's dirty, it does, but it doesn't show having shadowing. So like if you try to take a picture of it, you can't see anything. But like I said, now that it's getting dirty, it's kind of starting to show. But I poured all of those, plus um, I had a couple discs of scrap out of these little bottles. So you could definitely do... At least two intake ports on a big head. These smaller, smaller ones are they're a smaller runner, but uh, you could definitely do at least two kits off of one head. So that's uh, you're only talking eight dollars a port to try this. But uh, so what you're going to do? I've been keeping track of what I've been using on these. It takes about 165 grams on that bigger one. It took uh, about 210 grams to do this one. That was more like a 200 cc, closer to a small block Chevy. So you don't want to mix up way too much, but you don't want to be short either. Um, but anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to pour equal parts in there. So half of that. So I'm going to go with about 80, 80 to 85 grams of the first one, 80 to 85 grams of the second one. And then I'm going to add some dye and try to dye this one and see how it turns out. And, uh, I'll come back after that. All right, I ended up with 166 grams because I missed my 80. I was shooting for 82, ended up with 83, so I just matched it with the second part. If you overshoot your second part, just add a little bit more of the first part, just keep track of your numbers. I added a gram of dye. I don't know how much it's going to take, but we're going to start with a gram. And they recommend mixing thoroughly for at least five minutes. I've been mixing probably about a minute and a half on every one, and it's turned out fine. So five minutes might be a little bit excessive, but I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and be back again. All right, got her mixed up. Uh, looked to me like a gram was plenty. It uh, it really took the color quick, so it's got some good color to it now. Um, the next step is to spray. Uh, you need to spray the intake runner with your uh, release agent. You just get it from all angles, every which way, up, down, around, over. Uh, spray the head of the valve because that's this stuff's gonna be sitting on the back of it and you do need to have it don't have to be a perfect valve job but it needs to be good enough to this stuff ain't quite like water but it is thin and if if it's, it may leak around the valve so and it doesn't set up very fast it 
I think it said 45 minutes working time, so you don't have to get in a hurry with it. And that, that gives the, the slow setup time gives the air bubbles time to work out. So, but what I'm gonna do right now is spray the valve and uh, spray all the intake port, and then I'll be back again. All right, so the runner's coated. I don't know if this stuff's any different than like you can go to Lowe's and get silicone spray. I really honestly think this is just silicone spray, but for ten dollars. I didn't want to take a chance of that being full of silicone and stuck to the walls because as you can imagine it would be a nightmare to get out so I'm not going to show the finished product here because I don't have a way to edit videos and it's going to be eight hours between now and then so um as far as getting it out I take a a little tool or something and you'll work it down the sides and just kind of work it around and get it freed up best you can and then go in here around the bowl and kind of work it around and once you get it where you can kind of start moving it around a little bit, you can take a valve and stick back in that mold right up to the guide. And I just been leveraging it off the seat and, uh, you know, take your time, but this stuff's amazingly tough. So I've been just kind of pulling it out with that. And then, like I said, take your time. It's not super easy, but push from the top, pull from the bottom. And, uh, and then, like I said, when you get done, you're going to end up with a port mold that allows you to measure the cross-sectional areas easily more accurately for me anyways and it also helps you just to visualize um, what's going on with a port and like your short side and and where it comes down to the seat and what's going on around your guide and it's really just been helpful for me to be able to visualize it so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this and uh, I just want to make it easy easy to see it's easy to do I haven't I haven't screwed one up yet so don't be afraid to try it like I said, you can you can do this for 20 bucks on your first one, or you can dive right in and buy a gallon of it and do 100 of them. But uh, like I said, that first kit was a Let's Resin silicone mold kit, but there's there's several different brands and they're all about the same price. But so the dye I think is gonna gonna help for being able to see stuff a little bit better too. I think that is everything that I have for you. Obviously, you gotta get your head level. I got a piece of sheet metal, scrap sheet metal on the uh, valve cover rail but get it level and i don't know it's not super critical to get it all the way to the top but if it leaks out a little bit you can keep topping it off until it sets up enough to quit leaking but that's about all i got on that one